what we're going to be talking about is resealing and refurbishing the 1.6 liter Volkswagen diesel NA engine. A lot of this guide is going to apply to the majority of uh, Mark 1 and Mark 2 engines, gas and diesel. Um, most of it diesel specific based on the setup and what makes these motors work. Um, but a lot of the torque specs and procedures are going to be very similar for the gas motors as well. Now the first steps that we're going to take here, uh, obviously this block we stripped it down, uh, cleaned it, painted it. Went ahead and ground this down. It was a nice flush, clean surface. Um, here, here, here. It's for the water pump and accessory bracket. Oil filter stand. And on this particular case, it has a breather nipple on it. Um, normally, there's a block off plate that goes here on most of them. So we're going to go ahead and install the water pump, accessory bracket filter stand, breather, and our front seal, front seal cover. Uh, one thing I like to do with these is uh, take a little bit of sandpaper, 1500, 2000, and just kind of wet sand this surface here um, just to make sure that it's nice and clean and ready to go for the seal to ride on. So we'll go ahead and get that done. The accessory bracket, water pump bolts torque to 15 foot-pounds. Same thing for the front seal cover. I believe these are also 15 foot-pounds. I'll verify and come back. Alright, so we got our accessory bracket on, our water pump installed in our housing, and our thermostat uh, replaced. We also installed our front seal carrier. Um, as I said, actually I miss, misspoke earlier. These M6 fasteners, 15, uh, I'm sorry, 10 Newton meters, not 15. Um, you try 15, it's, it's gonna end pretty bad because it's gonna snap off on you. Um, so next we're gonna go ahead and get these, just grab these out of the parts washer and then we'll go ahead and go underneath and get our brand new oil pan installed now one thing to note because this is a diesel uh, it's pretty important that you go ahead and put some blue loctite on uh, a lot of these fasteners these things are known for a lot of vibration and uh, i've seen plenty of bolts walk out uh, especially in relation to the accessory bracket and once the accessories are actually on there so it's Pretty important to make sure that uh, that stuff is nice and tight and secure uh, just to prevent any unnecessary failures. So we'll go ahead and uh, jump forward to getting these two on and uh, getting the oil pan on here. All right, so we got the block flipped over here. Um, as you can see, as any diesel motor would be, it's pretty dirty. Uh, so before we put a oil pan or oil pan gasket on this, we got to prep this surface. Now there's a couple different ways that you can do that. Um, the first thing that you definitely want to do is take a rag or paper towel or something and uh, just kind of wipe, you know, the loose stuff off. Now after that, you know, you got a little. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up. Okay, um, so you got some of these imperfections. Uh, you know a little bit of corrosion things like that um, so I like to use uh, my angle grinder and uh, these whiz wheels made by Rolock um, I, we get a, I get mine from McMaster but you can uh, you can get them a lot of different places um, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up prepped uh, that way we can get our gasket on here and get our pan seal the bottom of this motor now normally I would uh, go ahead and recommend a new oil pump um, if you or at least a, at minimum a new pickup tube um, so we just want to get this stuff kind of cleaned up um, 
That way we have a nice clean surface uh, so that this motor hopefully stays leak free for uh, a pretty a pretty decent amount of time. Just wanted to go ahead and show you this. Um, obviously we put a new uh, gasket behind the seal carrier along with our new seal. Now I've experienced this before where the gasket is not quite cut properly. Um, so you end up with a little bit sticking up. Now this one also has a little bit. You can feel it. It's hard to see but you can feel it. Um, in that case what you want to do is you know take a razor blade and just kind of trim that off um, because that will cause a pretty nice oil leak uh, because your your oil pan gasket is not going to sit flush anymore. Um, so yeah just something to try to pay attention to because going back and doing stuff twice is never fun paid or unpaid so we want to make sure that our sealing surface is nice and I typically like to put a, a little dab of a little streak of RTV uh, in between these two uh, gasket surfaces that way it uh, doesn't leak. Another thing to note here is if you notice in the book it says M6 Special See if the focus focus on it or not. There you go. So you see those little ridges on this bolt? Those are actually these are Nordlock bolts. Okay? Now I'm sure you noticed I've been putting a lot of new fasteners on this motor as I go along. Well, I'm reusing the old oil pan bolts because they are Nordlock, and basically Nordlock is a it's a fastener that has those ridges to help lock it in place. Um, so make sure you're you know if you can't reuse your old ones, I don't know if that's diesel specific or not. Um, it's certainly not a bad item to have on your gas motor if it doesn't already have them but yeah on this particular case they are Nordlock bolts we want to make sure that that's what we're using to keep this on here because these things rattle the motor not the oil pan but these motors they vibrate and rattle all over the place and uh, that's how that's that's how these guys got kind of a reputation for leaking so much um, so it's very important to make sure that you're paying attention to torque specs and um, making sure everything is nice and clean before you're putting on fresh gaskets because you know if you're replacing a gasket obviously you got a leak so you don't want it to leak anymore so just make sure we're doing it right so we're going to torque this 15 foot pounds wait five minutes torque it again uh, i'm probably going to do a kind of a crisscross pattern on this to make sure it cinches down easy, evenly um, where we don't get a you know don't have it binding or end up in some weird deformity um, also a side note so this oil pan of course it has a drain plug and a washer here go ahead and replace that washer that crush washer I've seen on many many replacement oil pans where uh, that crush washer does you no good it uh, typically will leak immediately so just go ahead and change it out for a nice copper one I don't know why they leak but they always do so don't trust it just change it so here's to show you after the initial torque come back five minutes later as instructed and you can see there's a tiny tiny bit of turn Still left and all these fasteners so the only thing I can assume is that the paper gasket crushes a little bit and then you can uh, retorque it so went ahead and change out our plug washer uh, that torques to uh, 22 foot-pounds which I've seen on a, kind of a common spec on most Volkswagen Audi uh, oil pans, ironically it's the same spec as your spark plugs, 
Not on this, obviously, but on the gas motors, 22 foot pounds. So we're going to go ahead and finish up all these bolts and flip this motor back over. All right, guys, so that's going to conclude today's video. Uh, unfortunately, we're waiting on a cylinder head. Uh, that should be back from the machine shop in a few days. Um, so stay tuned for part two. And we'll get the head on and probably do some timing stuff and start adding more more and more layers onto this engine. So stay tuned.